movie buffs welcome back to the movie bay this is d in today's video we're going to take a look at some of my favorite crew crime movies what i mean by crew crime uh it could be organized crime which is mob mafia based crime or street level crime um as long as it's centered around a crew being part of a crew it could be organized it could be street level it could be urban it could be white collar blue collar i like to just say crime uh crew based crime that will include more movies to the mix because now I can include movies like New Jack City, movies like Goodfellas, all in a, all in one video by doing it like that. Instead of just doing Goodfellas, Casino, Scarface, all of that, I can include movies like Set It Off and stuff like that. So I like to say crew crime. That will cover everything. So without further ado, let's dive into this crew crime video. And these are some of my favorite crew crime movies. Now, I'm not going to say these are the best crew crime movies, but these are some of my favorites, and hopefully they're some of yours. So let's start this li list off with one of the movies that will top almost every list like this. It will be guaranteed to make it in the top five on almost every list of organized crime movies, and that is Goodfellas. Now, The Departed could have made it to this because it was definitely organized crime. It didn't make it. I, I didn't want to include Departed because I got a lot of movies to show you. But if you want to do an honorable mention for The Departed, you can. It definitely works. But Goodfellas. Goodfellas is a classic. It's a, all about the mob. This is all about being made, tracing your bloodline back. This is it. This is about respect. This is this is it right here. This is the quintessential mafioso movie. Um, it's, 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 it's not a whole lot to say about this movie. I think everybody's seen this movie who wanted to say it. Goodfellas, you got Ray Liotta, Joe Pesci, Robert De Niro, and many, many more. Check this one out. Um, next, we're going to take a look at one. Now, this one, when you think about these kind of movies, this one often makes the list, but it's never really at the top of the list. Um, I don't think it would place higher than stuff like, again, Scarface, uh, Goodfellas Casino is not going to place higher than those, but a lot of times when you see this movie on the, those type of lists, these type of videos, it's kind of low or it don't make it at all. Um, Carlito's Way is a fantastic movie. It's definitely crew based. It's a small crew. It's not like it's not mafioso, but it's definitely Carlito Perganti has definitely got a little small crew. Um, this is uh, all about Carlito after he's. Uh, dead time in jail. He just want to change his life. Um, the movie opens with him getting out of jail and he just want to change his life. He just want to chill, make some money and move and, and, and go legit. But his, his life just keep pulling him back. You know, the, the life that he lived, it just keep calling him back. You got Al Pacino, you got John Leguizamo, you got Sean Penn, you got Luis Guzman. This is a fantastic film. Is really good, and I think it should get a little bit more love than it gets. Not saying that it don't get any love, but I don't think this gets nowhere near the love it deserves. Next up is one that I know didn't get the love that it deserved, and this one is from the producer of Scarface and Carlito's Way, Carlito's Way Rise to Power. Now, this is the prequel to Carlito's Way. This movie does a hell of a job explaining the ending of Carlito's Way. Because if you watch Carlito's Way, the end, it won't have you like tripping, but this will explain it in more detail why it happened the way it happened. You got a great cast. You got Mario Van Peoples. You got um, uh, Jay Hernandez, Luis Guzman, and Sean Penn. I mean, not Sean Penn, Sean Diddy Combs. He did a fantastic job. Everybody did a really good job in this movie. You'll like this. This is good. Um <clears throat> If I had to rate Carlito's Way at a 9, I would rate this at an 8. If I had to rate them like that. Next up is Kings of New York. Now, this is more on the um, urban side of crew crime with more of the drug side. You know, this is this moves away from the organized side to more of the drug side, the street level stuff. Uh, you got uh, Christopher Walken and Lawrence Fishburne. Uh, Frank White, who's the head of his little small crew of goons, and uh, he's a badass in New York, set in the time period. If I'm not mistaken, this movie is set in like the late 80s, early 90s, and it's a really good movie. Check it out. Now, I, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on each one. Some are standouts where I will spend a little bit more time on, but I want to move through this one. 
Road to Perdition. Now, this hardly ever makes the list of crime movies, of crew crime movies. I've never seen it on a crew crime list. It definitely is a crew crime movie. Uh, it's very unique to almost all of them because of its story. It's well-rounded. The story on this is well-rounded. It is the story of love, revenge, hate. All the emotions is in this movie. It Basically, you got Tom Hanks, Paul Newman, uh, Jude Law, and Daniel Craig, who... Now, Daniel Craig, he has a significant role, but he wasn't really who he is now when this came out. Daniel Craig is 007 now. So that's just, you know, to throw it out there. But Tom Hanks is like the lead enforcer for Paul Newman's family. He's like a son figure to Paul Newman. And his real son, who's played by Daniel Craig, is jealous and is looking for a reason to get Tom Hanks out of the picture. And he, his Tom Hanks' son, you know, stowed away in his car. He witnessed Tom Hanks taking care of family business. He was discovered. The jealous son used that as an excuse to try to murder Hanks, but he killed his wife and one of his sons. Tom Hanks found out what happened, took his other son. They went on a run. He launched a plan to get back at their family for doing what they did. You got to check this one out, Road to Perdition. It's definitely a crime crew movie for sure. It just doesn't make the list, but if you watch it, you'll see that it makes sense for it to fit there. Here's one. There's a crew crime movie. Um, this is Takers. Um, good movie. Uh, great cast. Look at who you got in here. You got Paul Walker. You got Matt Dillon. You got Idris Elba. Jay Hernandez, who was just in Carlito's Weight Rise to Power. You have Michael Ellie. You have T.I. You have Chris Brown and Hayden Christian. Okay? Takers. Really good movie. You have Empire. Now, I've seen this movie once a while ago, and I don't remember too much about it. i only seen it once, and it, it was good, but it didn't hold me. I was probably busy doing other things. I'm not going to speak too much on this one because I don't remember too much about it, but um, check it out. Now, here's one that was all that. Paid in full. Now, paid in full, you got to look. You got Cameron. You got Macabre Fife. You got a lot of good people in here. You got um, Wood Harris, a lot of good actors. Um, this is the story of Rich Porter. And I do believe, if I'm not mistaken, Alpo might be in here. But um, this takes place in the late 80s, early 90s. Really good movie. A lot of deception, a lot of lies, a lot of everything. This is a really good one. You got to check out Peyton Full, guys. This is a really good movie. And actually, it was an excellent soundtrack done for this movie as well. Scarface. Not a whole lot I'm going to say on this one, except for this is another one that will top a list of these type of movies. Almost every list of this kind, this is on it, and it's high up, maybe. A lot of times, this is number one, number two. It's always a battle between four movies on these type of lists, and the four movies are The Godfather, Scarface, Goodfellas, and Casino. They are always battling for supremacy on these type of lists, but Scarface, I'm going to say check it out, but I know we did. I'm just bringing it up. I know everybody saw it. If you didn't see anything in this stack, you saw this. Okay. Bruce Willis, Last Man Standing. Definitely a crew crime movie. Even though he's not part of one crew, he joins each crew to take down another crew. So essentially, you got a drifter who's drifting through town and... He runs into one of the crews early. They damage his car. He has to drop it off with a local mechanic. The guy takes forever to get the parts. Um, you know, back then, you know, transit, you know, would be an issue as far as getting parts delivered and stuff like that. Um, and cars was still fairly a new thing back then. And it was um, in, the, in, the, in his downtime waiting for his car to get repaired. He had enough time to infiltrate I think it was three gangs, if I'm not mistaken. It could have been two to three gangs. He infiltrated one, turned it against the other one, then infiltrated another one, turned it against another one. Before you know it, he wiped out all the gangs, and he was the last man standing. You got to check this one out, guys. This is another one I don't think got the love it deserved. Next up, 
Reservoir Dogs. This is a Tarantino film. It's definitely a crew movie. Um, I don't know if it was organized well, but it was definitely a crew movie. It was definitely a crew. It's a typical Tarantino film. A lot of crazy language, a lot of violence. Check it out. I'm going to start to speed it up a little bit, guys, because I got to move through this. Next up, Casino. Again, this one will battle for supremacy on the top of any list of this sort, and it deserves to be uh, in the in a, in a high hierarchy, the high of the hierarchy on the list. Um, it, it's a phenomenal movie, well done. You got Al Pacino, Robert De Niro, Sharon Stone, and a host of others. Check it out. And this one is probably now. This is the Godfather collection. For the sake of this video. I'm just talking about the first Godfather. Wow. This is probably the defining moment for the genre. Um, the Godfather's, yeah. I would say this is like the the quintessential, the holy grail of the genre, of the organized crime movie genre. So, The Godfather. I'm quite sure you've seen it. If you didn't, check it out now. When I say I'm quite sure you've seen it, I'm quite sure there's some people out there who did not see all of these films, but I'm quite sure that most of you have seen most of them. Set it off. This is definitely a uh, organized crew. They, well, they became somewhat organized. It's a crew of four young ladies, and they went on a, they formed this little small bank robbery crew, and um, it was good. It was, it had a very sad ending. Very, very sad. It was a really good movie. It was when it first came out, everybody was like, wow, the critics really liked this movie. It was good. Fantastic. You got Queen Latifah. You got Jada Pinkett Smith. You got Vivica Fox. I think Blair Underwood's in here. Fantastic film, guys. Check out Set It Off. If you have not seen Set It Off, go ahead and check it out. Deep cover. Wow. All I can say is Lawrence Fishburne. This is when Lawrence Fishburne was really starting to starting to come into starting to come into it you had jeff goldblum and then you had many more this was a phenomenal film about a uh police officer who was this who was just a regular police officer who was offered an opportunity to go in deep for a chance to move up in the ranks and to be more that's how it usually goes in these movies they take an officer who's not really a high-ranking officer who's a lower rank officer put him in deep and then he you know he can make detective or you know whatever he, you know, whatever he aspired to be, once the job is done, he could, you know, go and basically they take a lower level officer or maybe an officer with some issues, some disciplinary issues, put them in deep cover. If they can succeed, they can write their own ticket when they're done. But this movie is all that. This is one of those situations where this guy goes in so deep, he's not sure if he's still a good guy or he's now a bad guy. So Deep Cover is really one that you need to check out. If you have not seen Deep Cover, I'm going to urge you to check out Deep Cover, especially if you're a fan of Lawrence Fishburne, which I think almost everybody who likes movies is, and Jeff Goldblum. Again, a guy who, if you like movies, you've got to like him. Dead Presidents. Again, this is about a, a, a bank robbery crew, and... This one is Lorenz Tate. It's so many different actors in here. I'm not going to spend a lot on this one, but this movie is phenomenal. This is like, this is a really, really good movie. I mean, guy, he went to, he went over in the war. He came back. His life was shit. It, he he started robbing banks. It was a really good movie, guys. Check out there. If you haven't seen Dead Presidents, you, if you haven't seen Dead Presidents, check this one out. Uh, real quick, back to Dead Presidents. The soundtrack for this is... Whew, the soundtrack for this movie is fantastic. You gotta... Look, if you don't check out the movie, check out the soundtrack. Here's another one. Now, again, organized crime, LL. Not organized, but, you know, crew crime. LL is... Basically, he calls himself God, and he's got a crew. Omar Epps is going in deep cover. Again, really deep. This one is called In Too Deep. He's in so deep, like Lawrence Fishburne in deep cover, he's not sure if he's still a good guy or he's a bad guy because he's in so deep. This is a really good movie, guys. LL, really, 
This is one of the first movies I seen where LL, I was blown away. Like, wow. LL got two movies that he acted in that I was blown away by his performances. This is one of them. The second one was Mind Hunters. Deep Blue Sea, he was okay in that. But he this one and Mind Hunters, I was just blown away by how good of an actor LL Cool J really is. Um, you gotta check this one out. Omar Epps, LL Cool J. Fantastic movie. Also, another movie with a really good soundtrack. Now, when I talk about the soundtracks for these movies, very different soundtracks. This is more lean towards R&B and hip-hop. This is old-school R&B. Two different soundtracks, but they're really good soundtracks. Here's one that doesn't make the list, and it should. This doesn't hardly, this hardly make any list of these kind of movies, and I'm not really sure why. Uh, Wesley Snipes, he did a phenomenal job in this. Fantastic. This movie was really good. Um, <clears throat> really, really good. I mean, guys, you're going to like this one. And, you know, Michael Wright, he did a good job. Michael Wright doesn't do much. He, he, he had a little run, but he don't do a lot. But Wesley Snipes, he killed it in this movie, guys. You'll love that. He played, I think, Romello. And this movie was all that plus a bag of chips. Check out Sugar Hill. Here, speaking of Snipes, here we go with another Snipes movie where he was Nino Brown and he was the man. He had a he definitely had a crew. Ice-T was in this one. Ice-T with Mario Van Peebles, Chris Rock. You had a really great cat. Al B. Shore was in here. This I remember when I was in high school, Kids, I forget what grade I was in, but I know I was in high school. Uh, I went to Martin Luther King High, and kids was not going to school. The, the day this came, I think kids was leaving early, or they didn't come at all. It was crazy. The buzz around this movie when it came out amongst the youth in the city, it was crazy. It, it was This movie was really good, though. I went to school. I didn't have a choice. <laughs> My people wasn't going for that, but this was definitely a good movie. Uh, check out New Jack City if you haven't. Next up is DMX and Nas. This is Belly. Belly, this was a really good movie. And I'm not going to say this was underrated because I think this was right where it needed to be. You got Method Man. You got Terrell Hicks, Nas, DMX. And you got a host of others that, that made this movie a really good crew crime movie. More again on the urban drug side, but it was a really good movie. Also, also a fantastic soundtrack. Again, heavy on the R&B and hip-hop, but mainly heavy on the hip-hop. Very little r and I think it's like one or two R&B uh, tracks on the soundtrack. A really good hip-hop track. You got Nas on there, DMX. Uh, a lot of talent on the soundtrack for this one. Get Rich or Die Trying. This, this was, it makes it because it it, it, it was somewhat of the on the crew side, but it definitely was on the crew side, but not like the others. But I threw it in there more or less of than it's like an honorable mention. And I th should have actually threw Menace to Society in here because Old Dog and Kane was definitely a two man crew along with Chauncey and others. So I'm going to go ahead and throw Menace to Society in here. I have it. I don't have it to show you. I didn't pull it because I wasn't. I was going through and I said I, I wasn't even going to put this one in there. I said, as an honorable mention, I throw Get Rich or Die, Die Trying in there. Now I'm going to go ahead and throw Menace to Society in there. I don't have it at arm's reach right now to pull it to show you guys, but Menace to Society can definitely make the cut over, over on this one. I'm going to keep it moving. Here's one that you guys might think is unexpected, but it was definitely a crew. Now, again, it wasn't a crew like organized mob crime or drugs. This was a car taking crew where they actually took they stole cars. So this this was a really good movie right here. Going to 60 Seconds, Nicolas Cage and the crew did a great job in this movie. Also, there's something else missing, guys. I wanted to show you. Uh, where the hell is it? Oh, well. Blow. You got Johnny Depp. Uh, now, guys, I'm going to hold this down because I'm actually, I got something here, something else here. That I wanted to pull out that I didn't I pulled it but I put it somewhere else. Here we go. So blow you got Johnny Depp who's playing the role of George Jung, who's probably one of the biggest drug dealers who ever walked the planet. 
and um, you got a you got um, the guy who played I forget his real name, but Pee Wee Herman would say Penelope. You got Penelope Cruz, Johnny Depp. You got so much talent in here; it's not even funny. This movie is one of those movies that, that had me. I went into it with kind of like not low expectations, but I was just like, oh, okay, whatever. And when I when the movie ended, I was just like. It was, this was a jaw dropper. It was really good. Now, it was true crime. It was. So, you could take this one either way, but definitely, Johnny Depp was, he definitely had a crew here. Here's one. Shot us. Now, this one is like more of a, a B movie or underground movie, whatever you want to call it. This was really good, though. This was one of those movies. This was another one. I, I'm not going to say I went into this one low expectations because this one was a word of mouth movie. A lot of people at the time I was working, I forget where I was working at, but everybody kept talking about this movie. I was a lot younger, of course, and everybody kept talking about this movie. So I'm like, what is this movie? I never heard of it because I don't think this was in theaters. And I finally got around to, to watching it. And I was like, wow, that was really good. Now, it wasn't a jaw dropper, but it was really good. For the type of movie this is, it was fantastic. Guys, check out Shotters. Now, this is one that will cost you a few dollars if you if you can catch this movie, uh, even on DVD. I have not seen a Blu-ray release for this one, but that's fine. This movie can cost you a few dollars if you can. I think it might be out of print, so I'm, I think the fact that you can't find it new anymore uh, inflates the price. On eBay, I think this is trending at 15 to 20 bucks, and i actually seen it trending higher than that. But check out Shotters if you can. I would say rent it, but <laughs> that day is done. Uh, it's right here. Here we go. Um, we in the home stretch. I, after this one, there's one more I'm going to show you. We have American Gangster. Now, this is the story of Frank Lucas, who was a big-time drug dealer. They said this guy was making a million dollars a day. Listen, a million dollars a day. That's what he was making. It, and this is based off a true story. Frank Lucas ultimately was a snitch. And the real Frank Lucas, I think he died a few years ago. He was an old man. He was in jail. I'm not sure if he died in prison or out of prison, but he died a few years back. I do remember that. American Gangster, this was a great film. Denzel Washington, Common, T.I., the list goes on. Russell Crowe, fantastic cast. Good movie. Very good movie. Last but not least, in my opinion... In my collection, this is the best crew movie ever. He. Now, look. You got Tom Sizemore. You got uh, uh, Al Pacino. Robert De Niro. You got... Um, uh, shit. Val, yeah, Val Kilmer. Al Pacino. Robert De Niro. Uh, Tom Sizemore. The list goes on. You got, I think, Ashley Judd is in here. You got a phenomenal cast of characters. The story, what's the guy's name from Machete? Uh, he's in here. You got a lot of talent in this movie. The story, the acting, the action. Man, look, this is probably, out of all of these movies, to me, in my opinion, I'm going to hold this as the number one crew crime movie. Now, it's not... The best, if you was to break the category down that I'm doing here into street level crime and crew like crime, this is true crew crime where it's all about a crew. They're not really into the drugs or the, the mob stuff. This just a straight up crew. So if you had to separate this into like its own little genre of crew films like Takers where they're taking down scores or even going in 60 seconds, this would be the number one crew movie of all times. Now, as far as putting it in, lumping it together with uh, organized crime and street level crime. In my opinion, this is still number one, but some people might not look at it that way, but I think this is the number one crew crime movie of all times. You guys tell me what you think of this list. Tell me if you enjoyed the list. Tell me if any of those movies you felt like they wasn't appropriate for the list. They should have been on a different list. I love your feedback. I'm going to continue to give you guys more great content. And the next video that we're going to do, I'm going to show you all of my box sets and collector pieces. Well, not really collector pieces, my multi-packs. And we're going to continue to pump out some really great content. 
Look forward to movie night picks coming. I'll probably do one of those today because I haven't did a movie night picks in a while. Uh, pickups are now monthly instead of weekly. I used to do the weekly pickups. I'll be doing those monthly that way. In between pickups, I can um, give you guys some more different content like top five lists, top tens, um, different genres like I just did today with the crew crimes uh, movies. We're just going to have fun. Thanks for supporting the channel. If you like what you've seen, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.